Okay, so a lot of leaked information has just come out from Crowrindo's source, sharing a lot of information about the next event, and while well, things have changed from what we previously knew. So here's a rundown of everything that should be coming during the next event, and a lot of it might shock you. So the next collection event coming to Apex should be the event that was codenamed the Noir Collection event, and we should be getting this sometime from the 26th of March to around the 2nd or 9th of April. And once it starts, Crowrindo's source says it will last three weeks long, and it will be very similar to the Final Fantasy event, in the way that it will have 36 cosmetics rather than the usual 24 that we get out of a normal collection event. However, this event isn't going to be a collaboration like the Final Fantasy crossover, it's just going to follow the same style of selling cosmetics without the fact that it's a crossover, no iconic skins, just 14 legendary skins. And Hypermist also shared that the actual name for this event should be the Shadow Society event, and that matches with the Noir codename. So as for the skins that we'll be getting in this event, of course we've seen a lot of skins teased in the Apex Museum. We know for sure the Lifeline skin will be coming as part of this event. We also saw a Ballistic skin. We also saw some really cool Wraith and Loba and Valkyrie skins. And since this is a bigger event with more cosmetics, we might even be getting all of those skins that were in the Apex Museum. We will just have to wait and see for that. But let's get on to the biggest thing, the hot topic, the heirloom for this event. Now, Crowrindo shares that the Universal Heirloom will be the next heirloom coming to the game, and this will be part of this Shadow Society event. So, we've already seen this Universal Heirloom in the launch trailer, we've talked about it a lot, and this heirloom was originally believed to be a free heirloom. In fact, the playtester that told us so much about Season 20, they actually got so much of it correct. They told us about Conduit before we even got her, and they shared that we'll be getting a free heirloom called the Artifact Dagger, which we'll be able to get for free for completing challenges. And at the time that they were a playtester, this was the case. This was the plan for this Universal Heirloom. But of course, this was several months ago, getting closer to a year ago now when they were able to actually playtest it. And well, that seems to have changed. It turns out this Universal Heirloom is actually going to be priced the same way that the Buster Sword was, meaning you might be able to get it for free from your free event packs. You also might be able to get it for much cheaper. You might get it in your third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 10th, 20th pack, but most people will likely get it after buying all 36 collection event packs, which will cost around $300. Now it gets even worse, but the main reason they're doing this is because they seemed to think that the Final Fantasy event was successful. Now in most of the community's eyes, the Final Fantasy event was a huge cash grab, in the sense that you didn't have an even chance of packing the heirloom. 99.9% .9 of people got the heirloom on the 36 pack, meaning they had to pay $300 for an heirloom, which is way more than it is in a normal collection event. Also giving us the death box skins as a reward, which are just the dumbest reward ever. Honestly, you might as well have just given us an heirloom sticker. But EA did actually say that the Final Fantasy crossover event was a success because they had two of the highest net booking days over the fiscal year, which basically means a lot of people bought a lot of cosmetics and EA made a lot of money from the Final Fantasy event. And this is probably because it has a very strong sense of gambling fitted into this system, making it seem like you actually have a chance to pack the heirloom in any of your event packs, even though the real chance is so low that you're pretty much just as likely to pack an heirloom out of any regular Apex pack. It's just selling people a dream, and it probably did make a lot of people buy more packs than they really should have. But yes, it seems EA knows that that's going to make them money, so they're doing it again, but it gets so much worse because this universal heirloom doesn't stop at its around $300 price tag because you can customize it. We've known this for a long time. This heirloom is going to be customizable. Similar to in Apex Mobile, we expected this to be customizable by paying for it. I never really had a problem with this. If we got the heirloom for free and you could pay to customize it, that's cool. But Crowrindo Source did share the same things that you can fully customize this heirloom. And it says you'll be able to change things like the blade, the power source, the theme, and the death box skin attached to the heirloom. And all blades and death box are locked behind a paywall, and buying the heirloom along with all of the unlockable changes will cost you around $700. Yeah, that pains me to even say, imagine spending $700 on an heirloom in Apex. 
It seems like you'll be able to use heirloom shards as well to customize the heirloom. Honestly, it's getting out of hand. And this also coincides with the fact that they're apparently putting new legend heirlooms on hold. So not only are some legends not going to be getting heirlooms forever or a long time, it's being replaced by a huge universal heirloom cash grab. But now the heirloom is apparently called the Cobalt Qatar for anyone wondering. Of course, we've seen it in the launch trailer, but I did not think it would be this bad. But it does kind of make sense that they're pulling this stunt in season 20. They've got us all hooked doing the challenges every two weeks to be getting that free flatline skin So if you want the flatline skin You'll have no choice but to tune in during this collection event because you'll be wanting to complete your challenges regardless So while you're playing to complete your flatline challenges You'll be getting hit with the temptation to want to buy a couple of event packs to try and get the brand new universal heirloom EA know exactly what they're doing with this so we really should have expected it and I think most of you actually did expect this but of course events are more than just cosmetics they do come with new game modes and we were shared that a brand new mixtape mode lockdown will be coming to the game during season 20 and if this is going to be the biggest event of season 20 hopefully this new game mode comes at the same time we know that lockdown is essentially mimicking hardpoint from call of duty where you have a control point that moves during the game and it's just two teams fighting out to control that point i would also expect us to see more of the beginning of the brand new horizon law as we know Horizon will be traveling back in time or trying to travel back in time as she has her hands on a time gauntlet and this is the lore that starts in season 20 and should be lasting all year round and as we are getting closer to the halfway point of season 20 I would expect more of this lore to be breaking through even if it is just the story chapters that are coming to the game expect a bit more lore as part of this event as well but bringing it back to the heirloom Kral did also share in all of this info that the source did tell them that new legend Legend heirlooms are being put on hold for the new Universal heirlooms as EA believes that Universal heirlooms will make more money than new Legend specific heirlooms. So it seems the Shadow Society collection event marks the beginning of this, which really does suck. I was really hoping for Mad Maggie's heirloom. And the thing is with heirlooms, they hold a personal touch to the legend and they expand on the lore. The lore of Apex is so huge that this is a huge loss if true. All of the unique animations that tie the heirloom to the legend is what makes the heirlooms fun. I know for certain when it comes to universal heirlooms, using them with all the legends, it's going to get boring pretty fast. And I wish I could just share positive news in the video, but that's not really the case with this news. So there you go. A lot of news from Crowdsource that changes a lot of what we thought was coming. A lot of us were hopeful that the heirloom was going to be free, mainly because the playtesters said it along with other sources coming out and saying this will be true. Exo Madara even shared that you can customize the heirloom. And this is quite possibly the worst outcome. So let me know in the comments what you think of this will you be buying hopefully the answer is no if this thing turns out to be 700 dollars total to buy out everything i am not going to be buying maybe i'll do a giveaway to one lucky person because i mean having all of that actually you'll get bullied for owning that heirloom with all leaks from inside sources things can change and things are subject to change we don't know how old or fresh the info is i believe this info is pretty fresh though definitely fresher than the playtesters info so it is the more likely outcome and this is ea we're talking about out, so I mean a lot of you guys did expect it but I will try and keep you as updated as possible when we get more info and we should get a lot more info pretty soon as this event is on the horizon it should be coming within the next two to three weeks so we should be expecting some trailers in not too long but I was really hoping season 20 would be different and you know some players could get their hands on their first ever free heirloom but it seems EA has just crushed those dreams